Hey, what's up, everyone? Kevin Allen here, aka the Geek from DFS Army, and we're taking a look at prize picks for NFL Week Eight, the main slate. I got some good plays for you. There's a lot of really um, standout plays that we are kind of that are kind of, kind of popping on the DFS Army prize picks tool, which uh, you could see here, um, which kind of compares odds to consensus, amongst other things. So I want to go over a couple of uh, plays I really like, and we're going to go to the receptions column here and the under on reception. So a couple of players I really like for these unders, and we got some pretty big edges here. Christian McCaffrey, under five receptions. Now, consensus right now at the sports books is 4.5 receptions. Uh, for McCaffrey, and it's at 100. So consensus odds give it a 50-50 chance of going over or under four and a half. Um, the price picks line is a rare above that five. So essentially, for us to truly lose this play, McCaffrey needs six receptions. Um, the 49ers aren't a throw to the running back team um, traditionally. So I, I think this is a pretty safe one to bet the under. We're projecting him for 3.5 receptions so let's start our play with christian mccaffrey under five receptions boom all right got a couple more plays for you here on price picks and if you're not signed up for price picks uh, make sure you go over there and you use promo code dfs army which will get you a deposit match up to $200, which is nice. But even more importantly, we'll give you a free month of DFS Army VIP where you can access the awesome prize picks tool. And we have a whole team of DFS Army coaches that actually break down prize picks and give out plays every single day for NBA and every other sport. So you really want to be in the crew for this. And, and it's totally worth it. We give you a free month. It's $70 value. Sign up at prize picks promo code DFS Army to get all of that good stuff. All right, so Christian McCaffrey is our first play, but I'm sticking with the receptions unders, playing unders. And the next one I like here is Traquan Smith, Traqueasy, the chef, Smith, under three receptions in this one. And we've got him projected for 1.5 receptions. Um, Consensus has him as 2.5. The big thing is Olave is back this week. He will absorb a lot of the interest. Um, Marquez Calloway is actually the second man up. So um, Traquan Smith is that WR3, low-volume offense. Let's just take a look at Traquan Smith here. Um, you know, he's won us some, some, some showdowns before, Traquan the chef. But, man, if I'm going to be able to Trey. Here we go. Traquan Smith receptions under. So if we take a look at, you know, what he's been doing this season, I mean, he hit, he hit the over twice, hit three once, but now we've got, like I said, uh, a healthy in those games, uh, either Olave early in the season just was not a featured part of it, or later on he got hurt um, during that game. So we're getting Olave back. I think he'll absorb most of the looks. You've got Marquez Calloway as your WR2. Traquan Smith coming in as the WR3. I think um, we can safely bet the under. And I think our worst case, again, with this one would be a push. So I like the under on Traquan. And again, the biggest reason for me when I play one of these is just making sure that we have enough edge to make it worthwhile. The consensus on the sports book is under two and a half. So it's leaning right around... 50-50 odds that this kind of is just a two receptions game for him. If he gets the third one, again, we'll take the push. We'll suck it up. No big deal. All right. My next under, and this one I really like uh, a lot, is Sammy Watkins under four. And again, it's the same dynamic. The, the sportsbook odds have it at three and a half. So we get another, essentially we get four. So... We get, we get a tie if it hits four, which is fine by me. Sammy Watkins, I mean, come on. You know this guy is getting hurt um, on the first play of the game. He has not been very good. Now, I get it. Lazard is going to be out this week, so we could, I guess, have a, a an increased expectation for Watkins, but I, I don't I don't know for Jesus. He hasn't hit four receptions yet this season. He sucks, 
And I'm just taking my chances on the under with a Trey Queasy. Oh, not with Trey Queasy. This one, Sammy Watkins. All right, we got some more for you, though. Um, now, one of my favorite types of props at this point on price picks has been just fantasy points. And, you know, the fantasy score just encompasses a, a lot of different factors, but primarily at DFS Army, we're pretty good at projecting fantasy scores, which helps me um, really quickly do some comparisons and find really good spots. So my first and probably my favorite spot on this slate here um, is Tua Tugavailoa over 16.5. This is just, this is one to build around this week, guys. So when you're building your, your, um, your two and three man parlays over on price picks. I'm building around Tua as one of my core plays. I got I got more core plays. There's so many core. I got I got more core. A lot of core. But this is one of them. Tua, Tua over 16 and a half. I love the matchup for Tua. It's just such a good spot. He should easily um pass the 16 and a half uh fantasy points. It's funny. It feels like Tua's had a great year, but every game's been a little bit weird for him. There was that one monster game, and then he really hasn't done much, which is interesting considering that he's the chalk this week. Well, we'll see how that, or one of the chalk pieces, but I don't care. I like this Tua over. I love this matchup for Tua, and I love his wide receivers in this game. But wait, there's more. Let's jump back over to the prize picks tool, and um, there are other really, really good plays here. Tony Pollard. Over 16 fantasy score. Loves it. Listen, this is just taking plays that we love for DFS already and translating them over to prize picks. Now, any one of the overs for Pollard is okay, but I think you just go with fantasy score. You know, what if he doesn't get a rushing touchdown? He gets a passing touchdown. Anything can happen here. So without having to worry about, uh, you know, all these details, 77 rushing yards, it's a great matchup for the running game for Dallas. We just grab the over. And again, this one is a play that you want to build around this week. Our projection for Tony Pollard is 22. So there is a massive edge here uh, between his fantasy score and his actual projection, enough to make up for the required 57% um, odds that we need on price picks, uh, picks to actually be profitable over time. So I loves me some Tony Pollard. Easy, easy stuff, easy stuff. Now, one under I like here is, oh, no, actually, that was, uh, uh, stay away from that one. What is my last one here? Oh, yeah, are you kidding me? Can't do prize picks without my boy, Sam Ellinger, over 13 and a half. And again, this is just another this is just another play I already like a lot for DFS this week. Sam Ellinger stepping in as the starter for the Colts. This kid lit it up in the preseason. He runs with the football. Oh, maximum five pick. All right, let's place our entry here. We'll track it. Track it. Let's get Sam in there as well. Um, so, again, this kid crushed it. In the preseason, call it he's he's a running quarterback that um, actually has make good decision making skills. The reason he dropped to the sixth round of the draft was primarily because the arm strength isn't really an NFL caliber. It's a little it's a little light. Think of Taylor Heineke, but more running, um, savvy, shifty, and I think you know one of the important reasons that I like Sam this week. Um, rather than just like any backup. This isn't just like, oh, backup quarterbacks, I'm, uh, I like him. Sam almost won the starting job from uh, just from his play in the preseason. The team really likes him. And the coach has said, Frank Reich has said, basically, we we're going to make this move regardless of if Matt Ryan got hurt or not. The, it was time. The Colts have some issues at the offensive line, and they need a mobile quarterback back there. And they think they have it in, in Sam Ellinger. So... I love him in DFS. Might as well play some Ellinger on prize picks. Um, I've got a bonus uh, play for you guys as well. By the way, a lot of the, any one of these, um, Justin Jefferson over 19 and a half is reasonable. 
Um, Cooper Cup over 20 and a half. Yeah, yeah, he usually does that for us. Um, Marcus Mariota, I kind of like the over 13 and a half. So a lot of these overs, um, I'm I'm really kind of liking. This one, no. Yeah, I'm not into most of the rest of these, but yeah, those are the ones that, that we picked out so far. So I think I'm going to stick with that as our grouping for the day. So to recap, we gave you six picks for NFL Week 8, uh, McCaffrey under five receptions, Traquan Smith under three receptions, Sammy Watkins under four receptions, got some unders, got some overs too. Two of tugs, build around it, core play, uh, over 16.5 fantasy score, Tony Pollard, build around it, core play. I would, I would lock in both of these guys. Uh, and and make and make three packs. So the way to build your lineups this week would be or your parlays. I would kind of go Tua, Tony, Christian, Tua, Tony, Traquan, Tua, Tony, and um, whoever else you're into. Uh, Sam, like a like a three pack. Build around the core on Prize Picks. Um, all right, I, that's going to do it for NFL Week. Eight. Those are my core prize pick plays. Again, if you want to sign up at Prize Picks and you don't have an account there, make sure you use promo code DFS Army because when you do, not only do you get that deposit match, but I'll also give you a free month of DFS Army VIP. In order to get that, you've got to let us know that you signed up for Prize Picks with our code. Hit us up at support at DFS Army and you know shoot us a shoot us a screenshot that you signed up at Prize Picks and we'll get you a free month of DFS Army so you can access our awesome prize picks tool and every other tool that we have over at DFS Army that keeps us smashing in tournaments. Good luck this week, everybody.